Tom Yankee comes to me a few years ago and asked me if I wanted to get into a, a AI study on some bulls where we're having birth, you know, birth weight and weaning weight and stuff. And I said, sure. And then when they got out here, they saw I had pretty big cattle, so they thought I needed to downsize the cattle some and moderate the frame size and stuff. So we started doing that and using Cavanese bulls. And uh, so we've been doing that for the last four or five years and it really made a big improvement on the herd. We've moderated the, the cattle size down. The cattle's gotten a little thicker and better looking cattle. Uh, a lot nicer calves. Uh, weaning weights have been more on the calves than what I was getting prior. And uh, just a lot better looking herd and, and genetics all together. I started out with basically purebred semitals, and which was wanting to crossbreed with Angus to have a semi, mostly a semi-Angus herd. And, and I had four or five that were that I bought off of the farm. And all the cows come off the farm. I've not bought anything from the stockyard. And pretty much everything I've got has been born and raised here on the farm, including the bulls, the cleanup bulls that I've used. I was looking for farms that would be a good demonstration farm so we can teach other farmers in the county as well some of these uh, principles we're teaching in these master series programs. Mike's a progressive farmer, a great joy to work with. Uh, he's always ready for me and Dr. Anderson, always willing to learn. And we're making a difference in his livelihood. The, you know, the steers and heifers that he was producing uh, just had quite a bit of variation in them. And, you know, one of the advantages of, of the program that, that Tommy uh, and I are doing here in Anderson County is we want to demonstrate that not only can we improve the type and consistency and performance, but, you know, we can improve the numbers and the weight and, and, and all kinds of reproductive and productive efficiencies uh, that, that go along with incorporating synchronization and AI. You know, we, we really wanted to attack the benefits of estrus synchronization and AI in two different levels. The first level was just to demonstrate the immediate impact, so the increase in weaning weights, the increase in the value of the, of the feeder calf, and really that's what led to the new program, MAG-60, um, because we were able to demonstrate in large numbers of cattle uh, where we harvested the cattle and collected the data that we were able to make a more valuable end product, and that's where MAG-60 came from. MAG-60 is a, uh, a new uh, funded program from the Ag Development Board uh, through the Kentucky Beef Network. Uh, MAG stands for Management and Genetics. Uh, 60 stands for 60 days post weaning. Our goal is to capture, you know, 10 to $15 or 100 weight advantage at the marketplace. We know through our advanced master cattleman studies that that our cattle are worth $150 on average more at harvest than, uh, than non-selected calves. And so we hope that we can split the difference with the buyer um, in that production advantage.